Welcome to Camtasia Studio 7. If you're new to Camtasia Studio and you want to get started quickly, you're in the right place. We encourage you to watch this five minute video to learn the basics of using the editor, including how to navigate the timeline, make some basic edits, and add special effects. The preview window is where you see the video during playback. The playback controls are located under the preview window. In fact, the video you're watching in the preview window is a sample project playing directly like from the timeline you see below. So the name should be After you watch this video, we hope you take some time to practice what you've learned using the content on the timeline. The hotspot. So, so let's start with the timeline. The this is where you assemble and edit Android your videos. Wi -Fi data application. So At the top have, of the timeline, uh, like tick marks represent time in terms of minutes software. and seconds. So as you open the software, so after that, when you building a video, you your work in a horizontal so manner, beginning from the left and moving sequentially through time towards the right. To make precise cuts and selection, so you the use the unit. zoom slider to magnify the view so of the timeline. In this project, we have four sensors. And when adding elements to your video, such so as a call out or audio clips, these are placed on different sensor, tracks. Increase, tracks are created automatically when you need them, so when elements are added to the timeline. So, the next is so depending sensor. on your video, yeah, this is a you may be working with several tracks at one time. This is to change the sensor, position of an element on the timeline, time just drag it. So depending on the day and night detection, to change the length of an element, drag the edges in the either edges. direction. So the third, like third sensor, is like your. An important part of the timeline sensor, is the playhead. Which is due to detect the water level at The playhead moves the timeline and indicates so the, the current frame displayed in the preview window. Again, data to view your video, click the play in the preview window. So this is like four wires. Notice how the video and the timeline's playhead stay in sync. for the height, another unit for. Look. Click anywhere on the timeline and the playhead moves to that point. So these, this is the green X, section of the playhead is called the end point. Click and drag the end so point to make the beginning of a selection. So using this, all parameters, the red section so of the playhead is called the out level point. Is low, automatically the motor Just click and drag the out point to make the end of a selection. Pumping to, the, in the to bring the sections so of the playhead high, back together, double click the gray playhead. So this is like Wi-Fi receiver module. To split a video clip, position the playhead at the desired location and click the split button. So we just see the output. And if you want to remove a portion of your video, make a selection with the in and out so points open the software and click the cut button. So the wi -Fi if you make a mistake while editing, first, click the undo the button. And next, open the application. Next, we'll look at the, the clip bin and the library. The, the clip bin holds process, recordings, audio files, the images, the and title slides channel. being used in the project Five. you're currently working on. The then there's the library. It stores video clips, Intros, callouts, title slides, and other elements that you want to use from project to project. The library is also pre-populated with professional animations, music, sound effects, and other content you can use in your video for free. To add your own clips or video sequences to the library, make a selection on the timeline, right-click, and choose Add to Library. Automatically, the motor gets turned off. To include and clips and other elements in your video, in drag them from the clip bin or library and so drop them onto the timeline. The, the, the tabs located above the timeline are task pages off. used for adding and as editing special effects. And as the temperature decreases, you can add callouts to emphasize a key point. The fan gets you can insert a transition between clips for a professional look. Apply zoom and pan effects to focus on important details. And draw attention to the cursor by changing the color, size, and more. If you double click an element on a track, the playhead moves to the beginning of that element and its task page opens, allowing you to make edits to that element. So we've shown you a few ways you can navigate and edit your video, but how do you get content into your video? Well, to make a new screen recording, click the Record Screen button. If you already have an audio or video recording to use, click the Import Media button. When you've made edits and added effects to your video, and you're ready to share it, you need to produce the project to create a shareable video. Click the Produce and Share button, step through the wizard, and Camtasia Studio creates a viewer-friendly, shareable MP4 file ready to upload to screencast.com, your blog, or a website. Well, it's time for you to try Camtasia Studio out for yourself using the content on the timeline. 
The help file in Camtasia Studio will help you use each of the Camtasia Studio features and applications. The Learning Center on TechSmith.com has in-depth video tutorials and other sample projects to download and practice with. So we hope you enjoy Camtasia Studio, and happy screencasting!